Welcome to this instructional video on how to measure spinnakers. A spinnaker is defined as a sail whose half width is 75% or more of the foot length. If the half width is less than 75%, refer to the instructions in the head sail measurement video. First, pull out the sail from the bag, making sure the sail is completely dry, on a flat surface, on a floor with enough space to remove any wrinkles, in a room at norm temperature, and whose measurements are recorded to the next largest centimeter. A symmetric spinnaker shall be symmetrical in material, shape, and cut, which may be verified by folding it over the center line and keeping the clue and tack together. Any spinnaker that is not symmetric by any of these requirements is considered asymmetric. Spinnaker measurements include luff length, SLU, and leech length, SLE, which will be equal for symmetric and different for asymmetric spinnakers half width, SHW, and foot length, SFL. Start with the sail completely flat. Pull the head towards the clue and mark a midpoint on both sides of the leech with a permanent marker. Pull the head out to fold the sail over the center line by aligning the tack to the clue and stretching the sail to have the luff and leech as straight as possible. Measure the distance between the head and the clue along the luff and record that measurement as SLU and SLE. Remember that each corner point is defined as the intersection of the projected edges of the sail, not the position of the rings. Find the midpoint marks on the luff and the leech to then stretch the sail across its middle to measure the half width. Record this as SHW. Make sure to pull aside any overlapping material from underneath the sail so that only this portion is touching the floor where it's being measured. Repeat this process to measure the length of the foot from the tack to the clue and record this as SFL. Make sure to put the sail away carefully by flaking and then folding it to return it to its bag. For asymmetric spinnaker measurement, lay the sail so the luff tape can be pulled tight and laid flat on the floor. Fold the head towards the tack and align these two corners of the sail at their ends. Shake out any wrinkles, pull tight, and mark the luff at its midpoint with a permanent marker. Do the same for the leech by aligning the head and the clue, pulling tight and marking the leech at its midpoint with a permanent marker. Pull the head and tack tight along the luff and with a measuring tape, measure the length of the luff and record this as SLU. Do the same on the leech to measure the leech length and record this as SLE. Now find the midpoint marks on the luff and the leech to measure the half width and record this as SHW. Make sure to pull out any overlapping material from underneath the sail so that only this portion is on the floor where it is being measured. 905. Do the same to measure the length of the foot from the tack to the clue and record this as SFL. Once sales are measured, the data should be recorded on a data sheet or log and also entered on the measurement stamp that should be placed at the head of the sail. Again, make sure to put the sail away carefully by flaking and then folding it to return it to its bag.